we started out by asking our customers. And one of the great things that came about by bringing the combination of Cloudera and Hortonworks together was an incredible assembly of customers. It now numbers more than 2,000 customers on a global basis. We're doing business in 85 different countries around the globe. And perhaps most importantly is where we're doing that business. It is almost solely the domain of large enterprise customers. And so you can see there, if you squint just a little bit, we're now in eight of the top 10 banks. We're in 10 of the top 10 automotive manufacturers in the world, just to name a few. Now, you'd expect to see this kind of a slide if Amazon was standing here, or Microsoft, or Oracle, or IBM. But you might be surprised to see this kind of success and depth in large enterprises represented by the new cloud era. So here's what those customers said to us when we talked to them, when we, we talked to literally hundreds of them and tried to collect insights into what they'd like to see us build next. How do they protect what they're doing in new ways? How do they have increased their flexibility? And what they asked for were the following four things, almost to a company. First, they wanted to be able to run their data workloads and their analytic workloads in any cloud environment they choose. So that meant all the major public cloud providers, of course, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, et cetera. They also wanted to be able to run in a private cloud or straight up on bare metal in on premises. And they wanted to be able to do all of this with multiple analytic functions. So they wanted to be able to do streaming and ingest. They wanted to do data engineering. They wanted to do data warehousing and data marts. And they also wanted to do machine learning and AI all on the same data set. And maybe you know, falling into the greatest of these is love kind of category, the greatest of the attributes they asked for was for this to be secure and governed. So it's wonderful that it does all these functions and it can do them anywhere. It doesn't matter if you can't secure and govern them. And then lastly, but not least, and should be no surprise to anybody in this room, they wanted them to be open. And that's not just open source, although we are definitively delivering a 100% open source data platform. This is about open APIs and open exchanges and open interfaces with partners all around the globe. So openness was paramount to everybody that we spoke to. And so we, after taking in all of this feedback, we went about trying to scribble the world's simplest architecture diagram, one that I have challenged our salespeople to all be able to draw on the back of a napkin. And it really looks quite straightforward, as you see here. First, you need to be able to support multitude of different public clouds around both separated compute and storage, same thing on the data center. Next up, you needed to provide that common security and governance layer. And lastly, up at the top of the stack there, the multiple analytic functions. So again, what the architecture looks like reflects exactly what our customers told us that they were looking for.